Good, good. Morning. Remember January the 8th? Monday morning. I'm sure it was cold. You went into the classroom probably for the first time. Here we are almost in April. A lot of things have happened. And you're very close to finishing your student teaching experience. And you're probably very close, if you haven't already, to signing that piece of paper that says, it's a real deal. I'm a teacher now. I got, I got, got a job. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about you got the job, how you can keep the job because that is very important. When you talk about uh, a tenure, a tenure is something that you have to do, and you have to get it by experience. When I started teaching back in Aught 4, uh, two years is all we had to do. And the, the formal evaluation probably didn't even exist. Uh, I think my principal just uh, probably shook hands with me and something <coughs> said, I'll see you see this fall or something. Well, that's changed a lot. Uh, now we're four years, and you have uh, very little rights your first couple years. Your administration can simply tell you after your first year, your second year, that uh, you'll get a piece of paper that says we no longer need your services. They don't tell you why. They can just simply give you the piece of paper. And you probably do that like now. Some of you might have known some people in a school where you are that might have got a, a termination paper because they were not employed. They generally do that at the Bar March board meetings because of uh, the time that they have to tell the people in the school. I want to tell you just a little bit about what to, to expect on a uh, evaluation. I'm going to give you a copy of the one that, that we used. When I say we and Mattoon. And it's going to be similar. I don't care where you are. It's going to be very similar because all schools are pretty much looking for the same things. When uh, you, let's just uh, play the what if game. You got the job and you are starting this fall. Uh, the principal's probably going to tell you exactly what uh, date that he wants you to come in or she wants you to come in. Uh, many of them start, the first year teachers start early. And I'm talking of Mattoon. Uh, Mattoon starts, uh, I'm not sure when they start, but they generally start fairly early. But they even like the first year teachers to come in before that so that they can work with a mentor, they can work with, uh, meet all of the key people in the district, meaning your um, uh, support people such as testing, health, uh, board members, many other things that they would like you to, uh, to do. Of course, they're going to pay you for this. This will be above and beyond your contract. They'll pay you to come in. You don't have to, but they would recommend that. At those meetings, there's probably about three days worth. Uh, there, you're going to meet a lot of people, have a lot of meetings, and do a lot of things. One of the things that you will do will be to meet with your administrator. There's a certain time that uh, you're set aside that administration, administrator, or straighters will sit down with you and go over the evaluation. They'll give you a copy of it so you know exactly what they're going to be looking for. The evaluation is, is something like this, procedures. And I'm going to say I. I would meet with the teachers, go over just the things in general about the building, any questions, very, very light, you know, nothing real restricted here. It's just something that we would uh, more of a sit down, have a talk type thing. But we'd also go over how I would expect for them to perform in the classroom. Now, you've been getting a lot of training as you're student teaching now, so you know it's pretty much what you should be doing, you need to be doing. I would tell them the procedures that I'm going to use are I'm going to meet with you on what would I call a pre-conference. I'm going to be evaluating you twice each year until you're, uh, for the first two years, once each year, year three and year four. That means for one semester I'm going to evaluate you and the second semester I'm going to evaluate you for on, on using the same form. We're going to have a pre-conference. The pre-conference is where I'm going to ask you, uh, I would like to come into your classroom. I would like for you to tell me when uh, you want me to come into your classroom. I want you to ahead of time give me a copy of your lesson plan. I want to know uh, what I'm going to be expecting, what I'm going to be seeing. I want you to tell me any situations that um, there may be in your classroom, such as uh, 
maybe you have a student that is on heavy meds or you know just anything that you might want to tell me that I might ex expect to see and that's that's called a pre-conference we'll go over that you go over the time and you're going to give me the time that you want me to come in we'll clear our calendars in other words your calendar is going to say okay this is when I would like to come in on this particular uh, time this particular lesson I'll check my calendar that's fine now this is probably something we're going to meet um, two or three weeks ahead of time if something happens with you and with me we both have the right to say particularly you and me also because there could be things happen for both of us that I might say you know I'm sorry I just can't make that time and we reschedule or you might come to me and said I'm just not ready for that I'm just not ready yet I thought I'd be farther along and what I am but uh, can we reschedule sure that's fine so that's what we call an announced observation so I'm going to come into your class. You're going to know I'm coming. Uh, that, sounds, that sounds really threatening, doesn't it? it it's really not. I, you, know, you know I'm coming. It's just I'm just another person. I'm going to be taking notes just like we do now when we come and watch you teach. We just take notes. We have uh, time that we go over our notes. So that's basically what it is. I'm going to come into your class when it starts. And I'm going to stay until it finishes. Uh, that way I can see you start your lesson. I can see you go through the lesson. I can see you close the lesson. Um, the lesson is, of course, you selected. Um, hopefully, it's something uh, we try to something about uh, 30 to 30 minutes to an hour. And that's not to say that it can't be longer. I, I don't want, want it to be really shorter, but it can't be longer. After I come in and I watch you teach, then I'm going to set up a time with you that we can have a post conference. During the post-conference, I'm going to have notes, anecdotal notes, and I'm going to share with you my notes. In other words, as we go through the instrument, I just basically take the instrument and write notes. These are just notes of each one of the areas that I see. Some of them that maybe I didn't see because it wasn't presented during that time, and I'm just going to leave it blank. Um, we're going to have a, I'll go over the notes with you and share, you, share with you what I saw, things that I might... Uh, encourage you that you might want it to try different you're going to have feedback about this because this is part also of you so this is called a post conference the next time during this semester remember I said I would be coming in at least twice the next time it's going to be my choice it's going to be an unannounced observation so I'm going to pick a time uh, that I would like to I'm going to have your schedule and I'd like to see you teach and I'm going to come in during that time and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take notes. I'm going to set up afterwards a post-conference with you. And at the post-conference, I'm going to give you, again, a copy of my notes. And generally what I do is use this first set of notes and scoot over and put the date that I was there the second time so that you actually have my first set of notes. You also have my last set of notes because there could be... Uh, uh, a semester is uh, in, in the real schools it's 18 weeks so it could be six seven eight weeks between observations and I would like to so you can see the first set of notes even though you have a copy how you have done the second time after the second set of notes which is a post conference then I'm going to uh, set up a time that we're going to have a signature conference 